did North Beach, we did Mid Beach. Today we do South Beach. Onward and southward. So this is Washington Avenue. Legendary parts these are. You will see the trademark architectural style here that resonates in most of these buildings. And that is Art Deco, ladies and gentlemen. Even the Five Guys sports the trademark soft curvature of its building. Is that as fun as it looks? There you go, enjoy it brother, be careful. Guys, this will be probably the easiest my job ever gets because I could even shut up and just let the camera roll. And you will find little gems like this Axel Beach, Miami, South Beach. There's Española Way. I did a live stream from there, so you've seen it. With Havana 1957. And this is the Cameo Theater here, which uh, has been a lot of things, I guess, over the years. Most recently, a nightclub featuring concerts and other things. And as I make my way east, I will hit the beach. The look at Cuban sandwich right there. The little potato sticks on top, I love that. One thing's for sure in South Beach, you'll never go hungry here and you'll never be wanting for color. The place where glass block abounds and smooth rolling marquees that accent most of these buildings. <laughs> Looks like this is going to be or was a senior frogs. I'm not sure which one. And right there, that is the Lowe's Hotel. And just to the south of it, the Royal Palm. Why don't we go see if we can get in there? Not sure they'll let me in, but I'm sure gonna try. So, the way you do this is you walk in like you own the place. You gotta sorta of do this incognito, if you know what I mean. It's one of the reasons I haven't put the bright shirt on right now. interesting about this and it kind of reminds me of the Delano which last I saw is in disrepair and going through a, a renovation hopefully because you certainly want to see that being preserved but so here would be check-in and I love how right behind reception area they have those trademark portal windows that's what I call them some people call them cheese holes but if they have a glass it's uh, it's really more of a window, so we'll go with the portals on those. And here's some of the larger ones. Pretty cool. This almost looks like it's a projection. Is it? No, it's like a plastic mat. Very cool. Pay attention, guys, to the ceilings and the light fixtures, how everything brings the Art Deco style together, these incredible, almost candelabra style sconces. You'll, you'll find a lot of lobby bars. They serve sushi. Once again, you see this Art Deco curvature, very soft in terms of its uh, design. Looks like they're doing some work out here to uh, keep things up. 
Love the little benches here, all fitting in with the style. And you can see these planters that they have behind these rounded benches. A lot of these structures are landmarks so that the design, in order to stay up with the actual code, they need to maintain a certain look, a certain style, certain colors and features. Look at these columns that are here. And the sign with the fonts looking very Barefoot Vlogger-esque. To me, this is Florida. I want to be in the video too. You want to be in the video? All right, let's do it. Listen, I love friendly people on this channel. I'm the Barefoot Vlogger. How are you, sir? I'm good, man. So nice to meet you. What's your name? My name's Will. Will, how you doing? Will, like Will Robinson from Lost in Space, has a little before your time. Probably, yeah. Okay, but I always remember that. Where are you from, Will? I'm from Connecticut. Connecticut! Yeah, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, two days in a row, somebody from Connecticut. So I have to ask you this. <laughs> Preference, Connecticut? or South Florida here in South Beach, Miami. Dude, I don't want to go back. He doesn't want to go back. <laughs> I already said What's I'm different staying. from the other guy? Who is this beautiful young lady? This is my date, Katie. Hi, Katie, how are you? Good. So, Will, tell me, um, what brings you here to South Beach? I uh, just got out of a divorce about a year ago. I met a beautiful girl, and we want to start something different, so new adventure, man. Better times ahead. Yeah. That's fantastic. You had the whole world to choose from. Why, of all places, South Beach? I don't know, Katie. Why South Beach? <laughs> oh, he's asking her already. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's beautiful out here, man. Sunny, palm trees, great people. You know, endless activity, man. What else could you want, you know? How long have you been? When did you get down? Uh, we got here yesterday. We'll okay. be here to uh, Tuesday morning. Just got here, so it's like a long weekend situation. Yeah, yeah. One thing you're going to do before you leave. Get drunk and smoke pot. <laughs> One out of two for me ain't bad. All right, Will and Katie. Hey, it's nice to meet you guys. <laughs> Take hey, care. Take Same here. Guys, I walked right past this, and that's easy to do. But my job is to point these things out to you. So right here, as this car comes into the Royal Palm, you can see these street drains. And ladies and gentlemen, even the street drains have an Art Deco style about them. Starts on 23rd Street. And there are a number of hotels on Ocean Drive that you guys are familiar with. I've shown them to you many times before. Today, I'm gonna go a little bit more into depth of what makes them tick, their history, and some interesting and unique features of them, some of which I myself have yet to see. So here's the Lowe's. We said movie theaters in New York, spelled the same way, but everybody called it Lowe's. Let's see if I can walk in here. I gotta go incognito. You can see the security there, keeping people away from the pool area, but I'm gonna try to just walk into the lobby and at least show you guys that. This is a uh, this is a major hotel here in South Beach, and it's newer, by the way. But you could see how they try to still give it that flavor, that style. And. Uh, And their security is like everywhere in these hotels, which is good. I love that. There's the reception right there. I still wanted to at least try to get in here to show it to you. Beautiful lobby bar. Look at this Art Deco style with that aqua color with this sort of white beam light that goes across. You'll see a lot of fluorescent lights throughout South Beach with different colors, but I, I like the white. The way it plays off that aqua. You'll see they probably serve here, so this would be a restaurant where you can more than likely have breakfast. Maybe lunch and dinner as well, I would assume. It's a restaurant called Preston's. Again, this type of glass is very indicative of the styles, the colors. And uh, this is really beautiful in here. Look at that giant mural on the back, the ceilings. 
Looks like they're getting ready for some kind of an event in here, so. How about that sand over there? Look at that. Looks like a fish you'd find in the ocean. Along with the recessed ceiling lights and the hi hats. All right, guys. Let's continue onward, guys. We have a lot of ground to cover. I have you on my GoPro. It's my action cam. It's a lot easier to carry. However, inside you're kind of challenged for the light, so I'll do the best I can. Here is the reception area. Sort of a fluted gold style here that goes along this wall. Again, if you notice the common theme of these, it's almost spherical, soft, almost no edges, curvatures. By the way, bombs allowed. Let us not forget to check out the pool. So you got a bar area out here as well. Seating for eating. Yes, I did that on purpose. Ooh, our old friend Blue Agave. Tequila, anyone? Well, I gotta tell you guys. I know that the pool at the Royal Palm is probably more traditional, but uh, it's a lot nicer. Look at this, this is beautiful. Now it's crowded, there's a lot of people here, a lot of activity, but if you like resort style, you found home. Too. I guess there's live music everywhere. It's live music right here just above you. Here's beach access. Many of you are still challenged with the cold, dreary weather of up north, so you're coming down here on vacation, but there's Miami Beach right there, so right outside those doors. Automatic foot shower. Great invention. And you could see that it's closed off here, the driveway going up to the valet, what would be the valet parking. And the hotel itself. No access. And apparently still closed. Which is a real shame because this is an Art Deco gem. I'll just show you the outside of the building here so you can see that it is the Delano. By the way, Virginia Gardens police never heard of it, but you can see there is a tremendous police presence here. It looks like this road is closed off. And here is the Delano that you can see all these vacant, empty rooms with no window treatments on them whatsoever. 
Last time I was here, there were busted windows. Not sure if they have since repaired those. It looks like they have. These windows were all broken. It is desolate and abandoned. So Ocean Drive is just there. You can hear the music. But I am going to walk to 23rd Street. This right here is the SLS Hotel. Formerly the Ritz. You can still see the sign on the top designating it as the Ritz Plaza. I like the fact that they maintain that on it even though it's been since taken over and renamed SLS. Free trolley right there. Here's the social club, Bottomless Mimosas. guys that it is really busy out here it looks like a lot of these hotels are charging an admission to get in what is going on here it's a sold out show today it's a sold out show so is this part of this ultra thing it's a miami music week showcase it is mm -hmm. awesome well you guys are doing a great job thank you so much you too so they had a guest list. If I knew about this, there is a chance I may have been able to get in here and access it. But old fogey that I am, I had no clue. Anyway, it's pretty cool to just come into the lobby and see what's going on. If you're into music, this is uh, this is the place to be. Thank you guys. Music is just blasting everywhere. Speaking of South Beach and Art Deco and the existing structures, many of which went into disrepair, here's one that has been under reconstruction for quite some time. It's called the Raleigh. You can see that they put this series of uh, connective metal pipes here on the outside getting ready to uh, do some work to this thing and bring it back to life. You can see they have it walled off here. The Rosewood Hotel and Residences is what this is going to be. From the street drains to the sidewalk benches, everything here is our deck. The entryways here, Shelbourne. This will be a first for me, guys, if I can get in. Woolen Beach. That's where we're headed. <laughs> Almost like a library here in the lobby. Pretty cool.
spot. What do you sit about here? You like? access to uh, probably a lot of uh, music and festivals that are taking place inside the hotels right now. So. I just walked right in. I just want to show you the lobby here to this one. It's called Nautilus. Nautilus, by the way, is the name of one of the uh, communities, one of the neighborhoods in Mid Beach. Oh, look at this. Incredible Art Deco, once again, a sort of a spherical design. It almost looks like something out of 1960s Star Trek. Kind of retro, futuristic throwback. Along with these chandeliers. I can't get enough of this stuff, you guys. Look at the handle. Look familiar? We saw a lot of that in the Art Deco of the Empire State Building. Stainless. Another one being worked on here. I will tell you anything that is taking up space on this block or anything east of it or really anything near it is valuable no matter what state it is currently in because somebody will buy it and either fix it or demolish it and start all over again. Just finished the live stream here, completing the beach walk in Miami Beach, and uh, was greeted by the Garpi legend from St. John's coming out here of Government cut the Port of Miami. A bit of backtrack and head over to Ocean Drive and take a look at some more of the incredible Art Deco architecture and hotels here in South Beach. So the South Point Park Pier right over there and this path that leads to it also leads away from it and back towards South Beach Ocean Drive follow the brown brick road it'll take me right there so next time on the barefoot vlogger passing places like this along the way <laughs>
want to show everybody your incredible establishment. Thank you, my friend. Empanadas, man, that looks good. 3800. It's pure breed. Yes. Hello. Hello. Wow. Or they look too big for the outside. It's the outside pool area. We're having fun. They're very friendly. <laughs> well, listen, listen. I got those too. Don't worry. Your time, guys. What time? I don't want you walking on. What? That guy just told me to. So I, I, I'm, be, I'm being confused here because you're the man. Thank you. Again, shall we? Four. It's not. How you doing? It's on the third floor. Do you guys know how to get to that orb? It's on the third floor, right? It cross oh, over the to the. Yeah. We haven't been there yet. Hohauser wing. That was an architect. That's the guy that built this place. Is it here? The orb. Where's the orb? It's open. This way. I hope it's not gonna take me right back to where I was. I think it is.